Okay, we see a couple of lightning shields. That's good AoE damage, but is it enough to kill this expansion? I do think so. The army is split for Soen, and that's an easy cancel for Moon if I ever saw a one. He's usually so good in calculating this, and again, Moon's signature move since DreamHack Anaheim at least. He's gonna run in once more, but the archer backline is huge. We have some decent lightning shields in here, but again, the Huntress is in the front line protecting quite well. We have Mirror Image displayed for the first time, but the blade is still taking quite a bit of damage over here. Bottom in the front line, dropping low herself. And so in all things considered, is doing a decent job here, but just supply-wise, it's a huge difference. Moon also with a thousand gold, by the way, can reproduce easily. And now the Shadowhunter is out of mana. And so it's gonna call for it. Creeps are of course helping out Moon for now, but I guess he has to abandon this attack. Blade Master is using a lot of time in the shadows. Oh Shadow Hunter! What's Ooh. up with him? The Mauler! Oh no 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 not again! Has to go to the shop oh, potion! What the hell is all going on with this Ogre Mauler? Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Dude, he chases him! <laughs> Hell, across half the map, Jesus Christ, that was one hit away from death. This alchemist, unkillable with all that HP buff, and now he's switching the target, but these archers also, very hard to do. Two heal wards in the back of things. I don't think the Blade Master can even reach, he has no mana anymore. Now Windwalk, but exposing himself, going for the hero kill once again. Raiders are there as well, heal scroll, but he gets the crit for 189! Keeper taken out, and now going for the bottom as well. Is there reveal the heal ward soon to be gone? Heal wave coming in at level three, but the hex is there against it. In report on the bottom, can he keep the blade master alive? The damage is crazy. Crit level three there. Can he save that blade master once again? Yes, he can. So in bay army is in shambles though. 35 supply remain against 38. But you don't have any dispel left, and so in what a wonderful game. In 26 minutes, you do the one mistake of engaging against Moon's patented archer wall. And that was too much. All the crits in the world can probably not uh, help him here. That was the last heal wave for a while. Needs to get that clarity running and keep him safe with the Kukia. Trians can just turn around and hunt him. Hail Mary on heroes is, I guess, what he can do. But how? This just hopeless. This just overwhelming. This is Moon with a 2-0 lead soon. Level 5 part of it isn't even too far away anymore. Blade Master once more with the mirror image. This spell has worked out well, but not well enough to win this game. Shadowhunter almost going down. Getting blocked by the tree and gets off a heal wave one more time. But not enough. GG called so in. Tree of Life dropping very low. Lots of wisp repair required. Lots of wisps going down. Serpent Wards now being sniped. But when these Serpent Wards are gone, there's not going to be too many more to replace them. Exactly. And Moon holds this again. The Korean wall in this matchup. Hero focus. Not even the best thing. Blade Master saves himself. Seven seconds safety. But where's the damage? Where's anything? The Shadow Hunter about to drop as well. Trying to save him with the purge. Little bit of hope with that heal wave, but nope, not at all. Kills him off. GG, Moon 3 0. -oh. 70 supply, he doesn't seem to be losing much. Potom even gets level 2. Now gonna have some more detection with a Scout Owl. And the Grunt's all hurt already. Heal spray from the back. Oh, wonderful healing here, long range. Even West coming in, in this position. Blade Mass in the front line couldn't withstand the damage anymore. GG called and 1 0 for color. Oh, the Archer's getting caught! This is a horrible flank. Whoa, let's see how much damage we can do and how fast he can retreat. We'll have to have talents now to just fly away with crow form, but that's not the case. Raiders, grunts, build a wall. Blade Master takes care with the rest of the army, I guess. Lots of damage thrown onto that illusion. And on the right hand side, it's just mass murder. Focus with a lot of kills there. Acid bomb connected big time. Ooh, that's a lot of damage on the grunts and raiders. But so many archers missing. I think Colorful has lost the critical mass. I think he lost the critical amount of damage that he needed. And the Blade Master is just swinging and swinging it away. Critical strikes, lightning shield, everything stacking up. Focus definitely taking this fight here by storm. He's got the supply lead, he's finding more kills. He's losing some units himself, but the Raiders are replaceable. Blade Master in the back, still running rampant. He can't be dealt with. And Focus seems like he's gonna get the equalizer. 280! It's time for the Alchemist to hit the deck! Will we get a celebratory blade storm? We do! To kill off that bottom! Oh my, this is Filet, and this is the first map loss for Colorful. Focus coming in for the defense, down by 15 supply. Again, everything hurt. Everything's just hurt all the time. He never has the time to heal up and take a decent fight. Beautiful positioning. These archers in the back protected. The Hunts and the Alchemists blocking in the front line. Wonderful engagement by Colorful, and this is 
pretty easy now for him to just close out. Heal spray again, heals everything up. Shadow Hunter doing his best to do the same. But Heal Scroll as well comes in hugely. This alchemist is giving these archers so many assists. He's preparing everything for the archers to kill. And they have an easy life if you have a buddy like this alk. He heals them up if they are in trouble. He prepares their kills. And this is colorful with a blade master kill. This is GG. Shop is always nice to have and you want to defend. Shadow Hunter could use his cook and a speed scroll. Shop is still up. Would love to see him go for a mana potion here. Blade master is trying to get rid of the bottom to diminish the damage, but oh boy, damage just everywhere. A couple of lightning shields now in the back connecting, but heal scrolls are still active. Alchemist gets level four. Blade master on the left hand side looking for some kills. He's dropping low. Dropping real low. Heal wave coming in once more. It's still not level two heal wave. The shadow hunter is super under leveled because he was always sitting in this position, ready to defend. GG is called and colorful with a convincing 3-1 victory. Good sniper, 15 sway, taking out the zeppelin. So this AM may have to TP out in the end. Oh my lordy, that was close. But that leaves the rest of the army there to be in trouble. And the AM, he's gonna take down. Oh, the ring of, oh my, the ring of region couldn't really help. We got the potion in the inventory. Miko has the AM back now, and it's gonna come in for the defense, but to really deal with the bears, he needs some griffins, I believe. Zeppelin is finally gone. On the ground, it's really hard to make it work. 3-1 heroes, Dryads hurt, find our knives against the dragon hawks, and they pull back. Don't wanna be attacked by that anymore. Bear gets intercepted on the right-hand side, maybe... Oh, that dragon hawk is just dead, is it not? One can't really blink out, going for the next tower. Kill it! And level he gets six. the level oh. six! No mana though. <laughs> GG! It's GG! Just like <laughs> that! 15 sway! The madman! Ack, I guess, and that is level six for the beast master. Will he use it already? My god, these breath of fires are so sick on both sides, actually. Do we have more heal scroll? Yes, we certainly do on 15 sway side, but not for Chemico. Getting close to Earth Storm and Fire, but there's no mana anymore. The Sobi Mask has to work over time again. Oh, the heal ward getting oh. stolen instantly, oh. actually, with the breaker. Nicely done. He doesn't realize. Level 6 Beastmaster is in trouble, but man, everything for Chimiko is about to fall over here. Everything so low, HP, the extra breath of fire could be deadly. Level, Level six. 6 for the panda as well. Doesn't have the mana for the ultimate, for but now. I think we're seeing the end. The mana flare doing oh. so much damage. Everything going down oh in 15 sway. He's going to take the lead. These fairies, how many kills did they get? 10, 15, I lost track. What a game! Panda vs. Panda! 15 Sway steps out, level 3 on the Keeper of the Grove. The bears are falling, but the 19-year-old Chinese is 2-1 up! Pushing forward now, into the Night of Main. Be a bit of an overextension, no need for this really, but the damage against the bears really isn't that bad. Going up onto the high ground, you can go for a Zeppelin here as well, which would be great for safety. And I guess there's still a TP on Chimiko, he can get out easily here if he needs. <laughs> this Demon Hunter going down, no staff for him, and it's gonna be GG. It seems like Chimiko is about to drop out of this tournament right now. A thousand gold, but no way to spend. The production was eliminated before, and so many bears! Oh. Seven bears! Marching forward. Celebratory barbecue for the panda here as well. There's absolutely no chance for Chemiko to even remotely make this close. This is just a festivity for 15 Sway LP Club and Chinese Warcraft fans. We see a little bit of flame strike, but is it? No, it's not enough. GG! A 19 year old talent in the round of four. I'm in the backside. Law, very, very hurt. Takes out the Raider. And now the Focus Fireman, the raining ar arrows on that Grunt, taken out immediately. Level 3 on the Alchemist, and that's the big upside. But Lin establishes a Snake Pit here. Can he take care? Does he even need to? He's slaughtering Shaman left, right, and center. Lin down to 31. And I think the shop won't come up. Trying to go for the Keeper here. Trying to get him out! 210 crit! Bye bye, KOG! Oh my god, that was just barely enough damage. The Blade Master's still in trouble here, by the way. The Archer damage long range Ooh. is really painful. Shop, is it gonna finish? This is a crucial moment. Lim is trying to buy time for the shop to finish, but now, oh, wow. you're gonna cancel it. Wow. Quickly gonna take that out. <laughs> okay. The purge? It He's needs to be Blade Storm, and here we go. Waiting for it, waiting for it. Looking for the perfect position. Maybe he's too hurt already. The physical damage. There's the middle of everything. Foggy was expecting this. This took way too long to set up, if you ask me. Keeper in trouble. Heal ward again. There's nothing to save him except this stab. And now this Shadow Hunter is in trouble, and so is the first map for Lin. Archer's raining down. A little bit of healing. Ooh he 
Fire Potion as well. Blade Master still in the fight, but GG! Foggy takes map number one. Lots of options. Get caught on the high ground. He doesn't, nope. yeah, doesn't have a TP. Nope. He has heal wards, though. It. He has a lot of uh, regeneration here. Zeppelin as well, but can he save all? I don't think so. Purge. You can just purge the Zep yep. and kill it. Oh, Keeper uh, in trouble. Yeah. Up That's in the but crash and burn. Everything combusted and everything dead. And trying to punish Foggy here for going tier three, trying to take that fight. Uh, favorably before the tier 3 upgrades for the night of are kicking in and Foggy's losing a lot of units. The keeper Super. also dropping low. He can't afford to lose this one. Here's the first Fog. hero goes down though. Oh no, there was a heal scroll on the alchemist. Maybe not in time. Maybe, I don't know what he wanted there, but the crypt again. So sick and Lin absolute dominance and it's GG by Foggy. Nothing on this map went his way. Okay, the position is decent, trying to squeeze Linen through that choke. But this is, of course, a lot better with Headhunters than it would be with Grunts and Raiders, etc. Dryads are falling, they feed experience like crazy. Going for the TC, who has an invo potion, of course. Damage is stacking up against the Raider, but oh boy, that Alchemist is in a world of hurt. And he was the carry. He has a potion, he has an Ankh. And using that now. Can the when they just get looked at, though, they're getting destroyed yep. by these headhunters. Uh oh, Keeper next. Is one to dive. Returns. Bad, worst position possible. Is the staff ready? Staff is ready. Gets greeting by the TC. Can we get one mountain giant out, maybe, to stop that damage? No, the loss. There's no production at all. Alchemist is finally oh, not falling. Returns to focus. On that TC, Lin doesn't want to overcommit. He has a 20 supply lead. He knows if he plays this patient, if he plays this careful, then he is the second Walker 3 legend in these semifinals. If he oversteps, maybe there's a chance for Foggy, but that's doubtful at this point. Yeah, pushing forward. Lin is on his way to the semifinals, finding so many more kills, takes out the lures. No mountain giants, no bears here coming in anymore. And the moon juice is running down, running dry quickly. And once there's no more of that, left, there's going to be no more healing and no more chance for Foggy. This will not be another semi-final entry for the Ukrainian as his entire army is getting eviscerated. 70 supplies still for Lin. He has not lost much this game, has he? Strong heroes here with 3-3-2 about to level up even more. This tri-hero, this headhunter strategy on tier 3, so powerful. GG. Ah. Absolutely overwhelming is Lin in this matchup. 3 to 1. Foggy is eliminated. His drought continues. He just can't make it into the top four.